Hello and welcome to yet another vlog style video. Let me put you guys down because my arm's kind of hurting. But today we are doing a what I eat in a day style video. Believe it or not, I get asked a lot um, for my recipes. Like I show you guys on my Insta stories mainly just things I like to cook. And I think you guys like it more so because it's very realistic for a lot of you guys. I do not, I'm not on any type of diet. I'm not strict on myself when it comes to what I eat. I'm mainly just about balance. I, if I want to indulge in pasta or if I want to eat some pancakes in the morning with lots of syrup, I will. But there are also a lot of times where I will eat like chicken and rice and vegetables and I will kind of tone it down. Um, I just really like to balance it. And I have, a, I would like to think I have a pretty good sense when it comes to me doing too much like if i feel like i had too much sugar for the day i will not stop by starbucks on the way home like things like that i i just try to balance it as much as i can so i want to show you guys kind of what i eat in a day of course this varies some days i'm like really really good and i'm like healthy and i'm on top of it and some days i'm not some days i do eat bad but there are days where are they're kind of in the middle i just want to show you what i'm eating today vlog style super chill and relaxed and then i'm also going to do a little try on portion since we are talking about having a healthy balanced lifestyle i am working with fab i've been working with fabletics ever since the beginning of last year actually they are sponsoring a portion of today's video i'll talk about them and i'll try on the stuff a little bit later on in the video but let's go ahead and get some breakfast because your girl's starving it is that time of the month for me i know fun and last night i was craving something sweet like i had a really really high craving for ice cream or something like that so this morning i'm going to make myself um pancakes and eggs and bacon and do a full on like at home American breakfast. Do you guys hear my fridge? It's like super loud. Darius is going to eat too. So I'm gonna do pancakes, eggs, potatoes, sausage, and bacon. That's how I'm feeling right now. I just get a little bit of everything so I don't get like too, too full for lunchtime. Usually for breakfast, I don't eat that heavy all the time sometimes i will do just eggs and just bacon or sometimes i'll do toast or smoothie or fruit i am going to eat some fruit right now while i start cooking just because lately i've been trying to incorporate more fruit especially in the morning it makes me feel good and energized so i'm going to get some pineapple right now but that's pretty much what i'm going to make for breakfast And I guess I'll also pop in a little coffee pod. This is the coffee that I like. Um, so I'm just gonna put one in the Keurig. That way I can eat my fruit and have a coffee while I start making this breakfast. There you go, we have a nice warm cup of coffee. So good. Okay, I think that's good. We don't need a lot of potatoes. So I still have these left, which I can cook up another morning. The key to the potatoes is making sure you put enough oil and then you wanna of course season it. So I do pepper. I do seasoned salt and I do a little bit of garlic powder. Garlic powder. And if you want, you can cut up pieces of onion and put it in there, but I'm trying to be quick here. So I'm just doing onion powder. And you also want to make sure to cover it up because it's going to hold in the steam and it's going to make them cook a lot faster and not get like dry.
I don't know why I feel like our stove has no like feel. What do you mean? Like I put it on low and it like doesn't cook anything and then I barely put it up and it like burns oh, the food. Dude. It's like damn. Yeah, I noticed that. I noticed that when I was making the burgers. The burgers, yeah. I look so long in this mirror. I mean, I am tall, but dang. Okay, so here's outfit one. So this is like a halter sports bra. It's almost like a double, it has two layers as you can see. So you can kind of style it like, I don't know, different if you want. But yeah, it has two layers. It has like these gray stripes going, you know, across and upwards. And then I like how I just have to, I feel like I always have to say this when I talk about their uh, leggings and their sports bras they are tall girl friendly which is so key for me I always you guys always hear me talk about how stuff isn't high enough for me especially leggings like high-waisted usually leggings kind of hit me like here and I don't like to show my belly button I like it to be high-waisted on me so these are for sure and the sports bra is long enough so there's barely any space there and then here's a close-up of the leggings these are so cute I probably could have sized down to a small as you can see they're kind of like loose right here these are a medium and the top is a small and then the jacket too is from Fabletics I have it tied around my waist just to kind of give the outfit a little bit of something something but yeah I like the leggings they also have the matching stripes with the top the leggings are let me take this off so you can see the leggings are nice and fitted, but they're still comfortable at the same time. These specific ones do have a zipper right on the booty if you want to put your phone back there or you want to put your ID or whatever. And then here's how the outfit looks with the jacket actually on. When you zip it, you can see the design more on it. It has the little holes in it, which is nice and breathable, and it gives it a little bit of design as well. I love that. And yeah, that's what the complete outfit looks like. If you're kind of wondering how you pick your stuff, like how it works, what you do is you take a style quiz. It makes you a custom closet pretty much, and you pick from all of those options, and that way you can you know for sure you're gonna like what's on there, and you're not too overwhelmed going through the site and like trying to find everything, so that's really nice. I am obsessed with this set right here. I think it's so different. But it's like it's black and gray and white, so it's simple. The leggings do fit me a little bit on the bigger side. They're a size medium as well. But I do wish I would have gotten a small. Hopefully they shrink when I wash them. But they're nice and stretchy. They have a thick waistband as well, which is super flattering. It keeps it all like nice and snatched. And then um, on the side it has these. Let's get close here. It has some stars going down and then these stripes as well which is a cool design as well, nice and different. I could have wore the black jacket with this outfit too because the black jacket pretty much goes with anything. But yeah, I do like, especially the leggings. I think they're so cool because they're like plain and then they have the design. But I do have a code with them, by the way. Um, not a code. I have a link in the description box down below where you can get any bottoms. It can be leggings. It can be shorts. Any bottoms, two for 24 as long as you sign up for their VIP program. So that link will be down below in case you guys do want to try out their stuff. Let's move on to outfit number three. And this right here is more of a typical outfit for me at the gym. These are kind of the colors I usually go for is like black with a different kind of sports bra. I find that I wear black and red and whites a lot to the gym. I don't know why, but anyway. Even this is cool for on the go if you need to go run errands. It looks like a simple outfit from afar. But then it does have the little holes on the leggings too, just like the jacket has it. Of course, I paired it with the jacket. And this is how it looks with the jacket zipped up. I kind of like this. It looks almost like a one-piece type of situation. But yeah, make sure to check them out. Link will be below if you want to get that 2 for 24 deal. You can also sign up with your email to get exclusive promos and discounts. 
so check all of that down below in the description box i'll also put the names of all of the items like exactly the names and the sizes that i got that way you guys can shop them if you do go and check them out just got out the shower and i'm about to blow dry and straighten this hair but before i do that i do want to prepare the chicken for tonight not tonight for lunch i always make blts at night that's what i'm thinking i'm doing it for tonight it's already 1 p.m uh we're having a late lunch just because we had a very big bre breakfast usually lunch time would be what around like 12 or so but yeah we're probably gonna end up eating around two i'm just waiting for darius to get back to see if he's hungry right now and then i don't know what we're gonna eat for dinner yet so we'll see I usually season the chicken with pepper, salt, seasoned salt, and garlic powder, I think. And what I do too is I save the the garlic, the butter, the, oh my god, the bacon. I was going to say the butter. The bacon grease from, can you guys even see that? Yeah, the bacon grease from this morning. And I cook the chicken with a little bit of that bacon grease. It just gives it a little bit more flavor. Instead of doing the black pepper and all of that stuff, I'm gonna try this Lori's Casero Pollo Asado seasoning. It says that it has garlic, onion, cumin, black, black and white peppers. So it's kind of similar to what I use. And I do thin the chicken breasts so they can cook faster and so they're a little bit more tender you can even just cook the chicken just like this and then do some quick rice in the rice cooker the other day i made cilantro lime rice and it was really really good with some chicken too like this and i put some sriracha and it just it was really good good and quick and easy let me wash this stuff wash my hands straighten my hair and then we'll be back. I'm just cutting up all of the veggies so I can have them ready to go. I have a feeling we're gonna end up saving the BLTs for dinner time because it's just getting later and later and we're we need to go to the store right now. So I'm almost positive we're gonna end up getting something while we're out and then save these for tonight. I ended up going out to get food since it was starting to get late and I had to go get the bacon, but I went to Panera, which is like one of my go-to spots. So I got, first of all, this smoothie is so good. This is the, what is it called? Passion Green smoothie something like that i wish they had a bigger size but it only comes in this like tiny one but i got that and then i got a salad because i don't want to be too full when i eat later i did get a full salad though that way i can eat half right now and then if i want to eat the other half when i eat the blt then i can just save it for that it does come with bread but i'm not gonna eat that i should have told them not to put it in there but this is what i'm having for lunch and i added i got the caesar chicken salad but i added avocado and i added egg so it's nice and filling it was honestly i don't want to say one of the best salads but it's one of the best on the go salads for sure the croutons are like crunchy it's more like bread too the croutons are not like the ones that you buy at the grocery store i don't know they're really good i do think i want to start doing meal prepping just for the sake of cooking less and just eating healthier because i don't know i just think overall it's a lot easier so i did buy i bought a meal prep cookbook a while ago and i think i'm gonna look in it and see what i can make because i got the i have the little meal prep trays or the little what are they called the meal prep where you store your food i got them from my mom's house and so i can use those finally and do some meal prepping it just makes it a lot easier and I find that whenever I eat good, like stuff like this, or like a nice balance, whenever I have a nice balanced day, I feel a lot better and I'm more energized. And that's kind of what I'm going for. I'm not necessarily 
like I'm trying to be on any type of diet or anything. I'm just trying to overall eat healthy. Er, I think I'm pretty good, but I do have days. I'm not even gonna lie. I have days like this morning where I just do not care and I'll just go in. And of course, healthy means different things to different people. So maybe what I'm eating may not be, like you might not think it's healthy or good for you, but it's just different for everybody. Okay, I haven't even ate half and I'm starting to get pretty full. So I think I'm just going to have one more bite and then I'll put it away and save my appetite for the BLTs tonight. I said it looks gross when it's all put together, but it's actually good. I'm out and about and realized I never closed out the video. Um, I was editing it earlier and I was like, girl, you did not even finish off that video. But here I am. I hope you guys enjoyed that little vlog style, what I eat in a day. Like I said, it's very realistic. At least for me it is because I cannot be too, too strict on myself because I end up going crazy. But again, a huge shout out to Fabletics for sponsoring part of today's video. I want to do more of these videos, so let me know if you like them. That way you guys can see a little bit more of a variety when it comes to what I actually eat on a regular basis because obviously it's different all the time. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Los quiero mucho. And I'll see you all in my next video.